Hi, I'm Mark from EM Bakery Equipment in conjunction with Durable North America. Today we're going to be doing training on the STM 45A water meter. Uh, this is the unit here. This is the package. This is the standard package. You have the unit with, um, with its plumbing. Um, you have a power cord and you have uh, an outfeed spout and you have a probe. That's what you get with the unit unless otherwise specified. Uh, the responsibility of the installer is to supply the plumbing fixtures. Uh, that's the copper pipes going into the machine. Uh, the unit needs uh, between 45 to 50 PSI, both for the hot and cold line. Uh, in, in addition to that, uh, the, un the, the supply line should be fitted with uh, a hammer arrestor, a shock arrestor, and a PRV valve to, to reduce the pressure to 45 to 50 PSI. Our training today is a, is a two-part uh, training. The first, we're going to train on internal parameters, and we're going to set up your machine for operation uh, in your facility. Uh, after that, we'll enter the second uh, stage of the training, and that's how to use the machine on manual mode. So first, we're going to go into our internal parameters, and then to do so, we press numbers 1 and 9 together. And hold. We have four dashes on the top. We punch in the code 1131. And we go into our first parameter window, which is our tolerance. The unit comes from the factory set for uh, a tolerance of, uh, of uh, 2%. You can reduce that to 1%. To scroll through our internal parameter windows, we press the P button. So we're going to go to the next window. Now this is an important uh, parameter to check. The unit comes with three settings. Number one is in liters and Celsius. Number two is in pounds only and in Fahrenheit. Number three is in pounds and ounces and Fahrenheit. And if you're dispensing in pounds and ounces, you should use setting number three. Moving along, we go to our next parameter window and it just gives our, our readout. The unit is set to read a minimum of 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit a maximum of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The second important parameter setting is our bypass. The unit can bypass in water temp or by time. We highly suggest you use water temp. And it's set for temp. We're going to move to the next window and we're going to set our tolerance. Again, this is the, the second parameter you should pay attention to. The unit comes from the factory with a tolerance of 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit. We find that's quite tight. And what happens is when you set your set temp, um, the unit will, will dispense water through the bypass uh, until that set temp is reached and it will automatically switch over to run and dispense into your mix. If the water uh, temperature floats 2.7 degrees above or below your set temp, the unit will jump back to bypass until that water's uh, reached our set temp again and then switch over to run. With a, such a tight tolerance, this can go back and forth, so we're going to increase the tolerance to give us a little bit of wiggle room. In order to do this, we press the stop button, zero out our uh, tolerance window. We're going to put in a tolerance of, say, 7 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so we press number 7. Now we're set for 7 degrees Fahrenheit uh, tolerance within our, our set water temperature. This is the end of your internal parameters. Uh, the rest is factory set. You won't need to go into those parameters, so to get out of that, setting we press numbers one and nine and hold we go into our home screen so now we're going to start with our manual training so this is our home screen uh, we have three windows here the first is our quantity the second is our temperature and the third is our temperature for the probe the probe is detachable you can put it in your dough mix or whatever mix you have and it will give you a reading of, of your product so to set our quantity, we're going to press the temperature quantity button once and the top screen flashes and we're going to set 20 pounds, 12 ounces. Twos. To zero point one two. It gives you a short window uh, to set your settings. After that, it, it goes solid. So then we hit our temperature quantity button again and we move into the second window. We, we're going to set for 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so our quantity, 20 pounds, 12 ounces. Water temperature, 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. 
and we're going to press start to dispense. Okay, so a unit will start bypassing the water into the sink until we've reached our set temperature. In order to dial in our set temperature, we use this dial, which is hot or cold, and, and, and this is a rough-in dial, and what it does is it, it zeroes in our temperature uh, to the set point. The unit shows air because we have no water uh, coming into the unit. This is just for training purposes. While the unit is dispensing, you can stop. Uh, the, it'll count down as it's dispensing, but you can press the stop button, it will pause. If you press start again, it will continue and finish your initial setting. If you press stop twice, it will zero out the, uh, the unit and uh, reset back to your, back to your initial uh, quantity setting. This is the end of our training video. Thank you.